No, uh, there's no Jake Paul merch in any of these boxes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because all the Christmas songs said there would be Jake Paul merch in these boxes. Good morning, guys. It is like 6 a.m. I know. I sound and look tired. It's because I am. I only went to bed a few hours ago. Got back from Seattle. Didn't even finish unpacking. Just packed a different duffel bag. Kept my backpack packed. It's still dark outside. Hello, world. And we are on the move. We are doing big things, and I'm so stoked to show you guys what we're doing. If you guys have been tuned into the vlogs, you guys know, but oh man, this is, uh, it's early, but I'm excited. Let me tell you. What did I do? Nathan! Nathan and I got seats next to each other on the plane. This never happens. Michigan Brothers conquering the world. One. We're, we're gonna be on another flight in four, three days. We're coming back to Michigan. Guys, if we should do a meetup in Michigan, comment below that and let me know because we're open to it. I'm not trying to say that I'm famous or anything, but I feel like we need security. I don't know, man. Or we could just get a bunch of our Midwest yeah, friends. Our friends yeah. Okay, comment below. We should do a meetup in the Midwest. I'll tweet about this too. And we'll see if, if we get good response. I'm, I'm down. Also, this flight attendant on this United flight just told me that it was illegal to record. I guess United has had some problems with people recording on their planes in the past, so they probably are frowning upon people recording on their planes. Um, but it's not illegal to record, and I'm going to record whatever and wherever I want. So. Also, I haven't still fully explained to you guys why I'm going to Houston. If you have been keeping up with me, you know, because I've talked about it like a, a lot of vlogs ago, but I'll give you guys the full explanation in a little bit. But the plane is about to take off, so I do not want to record more. But let's just say I'm super excited. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, and we're we'll meeting people that I've like looked up to and seen in my entire life, which is crazy. Um, so I'm super stoked, but I'm gonna tell you guys in a second. Let's get to Houston first, though. Check this out, we almost made it. Almost, we almost made it. But we didn't quite make it. Because it's spelled incorrectly. Nathan, we did not make it. We did not make it yet. We have came close, but we have not made it, in fact. The spices. That's the literal spicers right there, spicers. And we have in a lovely junior suite as well. Oh. Absolutely. Just getting to our room now. Oh, wow, very nice. Nice big bed. Nice big window vlog lighting on fleek. Oh, wow. Pool view, Houston, hello. Okay, but let me explain why I'm here in detail. Okay, so I wanted to explain to you guys um, actually what we're doing. So before I explain to you what we're doing, I have played soccer my entire life, literally since age three. I played travel soccer for my high school. I played in college, like my entire life, like huge, huge passion of mine. With that being said, I've stopped since college. I've played, you know, messed around a little bit. You've seen it in the vlogs if you're an OG watcher of the vlogs, but that's really it. Until when I was working with Jake, we filmed a video called Soccer Trick Shot Video and we played with a pro who had played for the US team and who played for Houston Dynamo. His name is Stu Holden. You will see him later today. He's the man, total stud. When I was so stoked to go play on like the LA Galaxy feel, like it was a total blast. Whatever, we became good friends. A few months later, Stu texted me and said, yo, I'm putting together a a charity soccer game in Houston because Stu played for the Houston Dynamo, which is the professional MLS team here. And was like, yo, I wanna know if you and Jake wanna come out. Like, Kate, I know, Kate, I know you played soccer and I'd like to have Jake there because he's the one who filmed the video with Jake. And I immediately was just like, yes. So we were supposed to have it in November and then it got pushed back a month till now. So long story short, a bunch of pros from across the United States are coming out. Alexi Lawless, Mia Hamm, uh, Clint Dempsey, um, and then like people from other professions like Steve Nash who obviously played for the Lakers But is huge into soccer Chad Ocho Cinco anyway some baseball pros a bunch of people are coming out to play in this game And like I'm gonna get to play on a soccer field with like some of the best players in the sport like I don't know It just blows my mind. So we're here in Houston. We're, we're getting ready We're gonna play the game tomorrow, but first today we're gonna go help some more We're giving back continue to giving back um, if you guys weren't with me while I was in Houston vlogging that um, when Jake, myself, Thomas, and Chad came and helped out with the floods, Hurricane Harvey, that was absolutely incredible and, and such a changing, formative thing for myself and my life. We found a neighborhood that just got flooded down here. 
So we're gonna have to take the sea dews off and drive them around. And so it's amazing to be able to come back and help and, and do it in, in a way that I'm so stoked to do, like to play soccer with pros and like, uh, I don't know, it's crazy, but I'm so stoked to be here. Like I cannot be more grateful and I'm so excited that we're able to give back. All the proceeds from this game are gonna be going to charity um, who are helping out some of the same victims that we helped out. So amazing cause, amazing time. So I'm stoked to be here and I'm bringing you guys with, but first let's go help some people. Dude, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, good to see you, my man. Hey, man. Doing it big. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Guys, we just got to the Houston Dynamo Stadium right now. This is where we're actually going to be playing tomorrow. Like, we made it. Like, this is the big time. I finally get to play on a professional soccer pitch. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. They're like, I think they're like growing grass. I don't even, I don't know. But long story short is, mattress company named Lisa is here. They came in and sponsored the event. Families that don't know any of us are here are coming. They think they're just picking up tickets for the game tomorrow, but really we are giving them mattresses, a um, thousand dollars gift card to Target, pillows and blankets because their homes were destroyed um, during the flood. So all, everyone is here. These are most of the people playing in the game here. I'll introduce you and talk to them later, but these families are coming and we're gonna help them out. I think one just arrived right now, actually. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're over here. Going, nice hey, to man. meet you. There's lots of storms and growing up in the Houston area, it's like there's always storms so you just kind of make it. About halfway through that Saturday night, we realized that we're not gonna make it. <laughs> so watching the water kind of come up, we started trying to move some things up to higher spots if we could. And let's go one step at a time. And so I was like, right now, just go get clothes. Get PJs, get clothes, and then I put it in this bag. What's next? I don't know what's next, but we're just gonna pray that we go one step at a time. The second family we're helping is here now. They just got given their gifts. Emily, we didn't forget you. Come here. Alright, open now. You got it. Why are you getting so shy, man? Get in there. Oh, you got a razor? Not a scooter. Oh, man. Oh, man. He balled out. He got a razor. Oh. Nintendo, Nintendo, what up? We got Mario Kart. It's over. I'll play with you online. No, there's no Jake Paul merch in any of these boxes. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Because all the Christmas songs said there would be Jake Paul merch in these boxes. All my Waffle Christmas is a Jake Paul merch. I didn't know if they were Jake Paulers, bro. I asked the kid if he was a Jake Pauler, and he goes, eh. <laughs> <laughs> You win some, you lose some. All right, guys, we just got back to the hotel. We're about to go to dinner with some of the players, some of the guys you met, and some other people that are going to be involved in the game tomorrow, which I am extremely excited for. Um, it was really dope to like see, you know, the families and hear their stories. It's like really crazy coming from a first person perspective, like hearing them say what happened to themselves. You know, you hear these people's stories from other people and it doesn't have as much meaning as when you hear it from the source and it really, it really hit home. So being able to give back to them at all was amazing. And knowing that all of the proceeds from the charity soccer game tomorrow are going back to more people like them is just very heartwarming for me. Um, so I'm really stoked to even be a part of it. I'm stoked to be on the field with all these players. So, you know, get a good night's sleep. You still have a leg up on the competition tonight, you know what I'm saying? But probably not because these dinners always go forever. But all right, guys, that is it for the vlogs. Thank you so much for tuning in. If, if you're not already a part of the family, be sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Guys, if you like the video, be sure to like the video. That makes sense to me. If you have something that you think I should do more of, less of, or continue doing, comment that below in the comment section. I read all of those, so be sure that you guys are commenting on all the videos. Peep the merch, the link is in the bio. Fanjoy.co backslash Cade. I have some new stuff that is about to drop for you guys very, 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 very soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. And lastly, if you guys are not already part of the family, be sure to subscribe because it's only getting better. Take it easy, guys. Peace. You're not gonna stop me, but I understand why you would have a problem with that, United. I totally get it.